Come on in, come on in, come on in. All geeks are welcome in this space. Let's learn together and seek his face. I'm Lem Philyaw, AKA Bad Gamer Elite, your host for the Sound Maiden podcast, sponsored by lifepromotions.org. God Games and Geekery gives us an opportunity every Tuesday to chat about the crossroads of our passions and our faith. I can't wait to learn and discuss with you. I want to welcome you to the ninth episode in the Overwatch devotional series. This is in no way endorsed or sponsored by Blizzard Entertainment, but I want to talk from my heart about our faith and one of my favorite video games. My streamer friend Super Gibby and I were chatting last week, and he noticed that I was skipping around on the different roles of Overwatch characters. He started to see a pattern on the frequency that I was choosing the characters that I didn't even see. Well, I'd hate to disappoint him, so let's talk about the ultimate in DPS or damage per second characters, Bastion. We've discussed the different races of characters in Overwatch in previous episodes. Bastion falls within the category of Omnic. He is a slightly less sophisticated model than, let's say, Zenyatta. He's a frontline soldier model from a war that ended 30 years ago. He, like Orisa, has a machine gun as one of his hands and is what we call in the Transformers toy world as a triple changer. He has his robot mode, his high damage wielding turret mode, and his ultimate ability, tank mode. In tank mode, he can destroy squishy characters in a single blast. It can make a big impact on a match. Life Promotions is all about making an impact in the lives of youth today. One way they do that is the Dignity Revolution program. With school assemblies for students and evidence-based trainings for teachers, our students have the opportunity to see the value in every person. Get all the info you need at DignityPledge.com. In the 2016 Blizzard short, The Last Bastion, we follow the forgotten soldier Omnic as he is unexpectedly reactivated by a bird building its nest on his shoulder after laying dormant in the wilderness for over a decade. Fascinated by its unfamiliar surroundings, the curious Omnic begins to investigate, but quickly after discovering its core combat AI, starts advancing on the human city he was programmed to destroy. At several points, he reverts back to his battle nature, but the bird Ganymede, at the height of his internal struggle, reminds him of his peaceful decisions earlier. He breaks through his original protocol and becomes a free Omnic. The Bible talks of freedom in many different places. I'm drawn to Psalms 107 verse 14. He brought them out of darkness, the utter darkness, and broke away their chains. Bastion was trapped like some of us in a destroyed state. There was no hope of repair or reanimation. Then a random person, or in his case, bird, sees value in who we are and who he is, God brings those people into our lives to start our journey into freedom. The Bible also says in Galatians 5.13, you, my brothers and sisters, were called to be free, but do not use your freedom to indulge in the flesh. Rather, serve one another humbly in love. Bastion was free to walk again, but he had the choice to either continue his march to destroy or stop the cycle of violence he decided to serve his enemies as a peaceful bastion away from them. Finally, the Bible says in John chapter 8, verse 36, so if the Son sets you free, you will be free indeed. We have that freedom in Christ, and even when our sin nature programming kicks in, we can rest assured that the Son has set us free from it, and we are slaves no more. This week, Take some time to ask God to help free you from one thing that you know is holding you back from being whom God wants you to be. Maybe it's gaming too much. Maybe it's frivolous spending. Maybe you're a sit and swivel bastion or a hammering torbjorn. Whatever it is, let's be free from it. If you have questions about what that looks like, hit me up at God Games Geekery on Twitter or Instagram or at lem at lifepromotions.org. I want to invite you to join us Tuesday and Thursday, 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. as we continue our summer hours as I stream with my buddy Lucas and our friends on Twitch as Life Promotions at twitch.tv slash life promotions. Also, if you're listening on Apple Podcasts, write a review for the show. 
It helps us in ways that I don't quite understand, but I'm sure it's going to make a big impact on who we become. That's all for this week. I can't wait to join you again where you live, play, and work. Remember, you are geeky, you are loved. Peace.